Hello, uh, this is Kenichiro Sasae, uh, President of Japan Institute of International Affairs. Welcome and thank you for participating in the 44th Annual Conference on Ocean Laws and Policy, a peaceful maritime engagement in the East Asia and the Pacific region. And Japan Institute on International Affairs is pleased to co-host this esteemed conference with the Stockton Center at the U.S. Naval War College, the World Maritime University, and the Ocean Policy Research Institute at the Sasakawa Peace Foundation. This is the first conference to be held after the Stockton Center assumed the leadership of the event. I would like to offer my sincere appreciation to the University of Virginia for founding and leading uh, this conference for more than four decades. And my best wishes to the Stockton Center for the continued success of the conference. The main theme of this year's conference, peaceful maritime engagement in the East Asia and the Pacific region is particularly relevant to the current situation in the region. In recent years, as we all know, China's moves to unilaterally change the status quo in the East China Sea and the South China Sea are becoming more apparent. Under the, these circumstances, the rule-based international order is facing particularly severe challenges in these maritime domains. And the vision of rule-based, free and open in the Pacific is gaining wider support both from within and outside the region. Promotion of the rule of law forms an essential component of the free and open international order based on the shared fundamental values. It is from this perspective that Japan Institute of International Affairs has been focusing on this agenda in our research, publications, and events like the Tokyo Global Dialogue. At this conference, you will hear from leading scholars on issues such as navigation rights, law enforcement, East China Sea maritime boundaries, and the maritime security of small island states. The discussion will also cover subjects ranging from Arctic, the marine environment, and the effects of climate change. The coronavirus pandemic has also impacted the preparation for this conference. We had to postpone the event by one year, then move it online. However, holding this event online also allows us to share the stimulating and informative discussions with an even wider global audience. I'd like to express my sincere appreciation for the leadership exercise by Professor Okuwaki of the University of Tokyo, uh, Professor Yanagihara of the Ocean University of Japan, and Professor Kanehara of Sofia University. Their generous intellectual support from the conceptual phase has been indispensable to navigate us in the preparatory process. This conference has also been made possible uh, through the tireless effort by Professor Noel Quist, uh, Professor Krasker, Dr. Dumbier Henley, uh, Professor Long, Ms. Ellis, and many others. It is a great pleasure to work together, and I thank them all. Thank you again for your interest in this event, and I hope that you will enjoy it. <laughs>